Hi guys, so what we are going to do basically is check presentation of answers of CA inter students who are rating exam for corporate law. We have 8 answers of 8 different students over here for the same question. I am not going to tell you what the question is. The beauty of correcting a paper is if I read the answer, or answer a padicha question anan thirinu. Your answer should be written so well. So whenever I always correct any answer, I never read the question. And I want you guys also to follow the same thing. Let's start off with one student. He wrote facts. X bought shares from the secondary market. The prospectus contained false information about the issue. In the issue, initial issue at primary market. That's it. So he is saying somebody bought shares in market. And then after that, what happened? He had some loss is given over here. There's some false information. Sections covered. He's writing about section 43. What is 43? Kinds of share capital. Why do I have to write about kinds of share capital in this? Not needed. Examiner is going to get irritated like me. Now, according to section 43 of Companies Act, if any party has incurred losses due to misstatement or omission in prospectus, which is false, and if such person suffers loss as a consequence of this, or as a consequence, the civil liability shall be incurred by the company. First, what are all the mistakes in this, which is going to lead me to give zero marks for this? First, wrong section number. We have to write section 35 and 34, which talks about criminal liability and civil liability for misstatement and prospectus. They have written kinds of share capital. First, the wrong impression to examiner. Leave section numbers. Proceeding to concept. What is writing? If any party incurs loss due to misstatement or omission in prospectus, which is false, perfect. And if such person suffers loss, so there is a misstatement, suffering loss, good. As a consequence, the civil liabilities are incurred. There is continuity. Can you see some gra grammatically the sentence is not good. So grammatically that is not good. Let's proceed. Striking, try to avoid, but it's fine. Let's ignore. However, such liability shall be incurred if it is issued on initial public offer primary market. Instead, you can just say such liability section 34 and 35 is incurred or it will come only if the prospectus issue, if you buy the shares through prospectus. So instead of using the words IPO or primary market, such liability is attracted if there is misstatement in prospectus which is material. So provision can be improved like this. Coming to analysis, Mr. X had accessibility to prospectus from the company but didn't apply for the allotment. Okay. Instead, I can write Mr. X did not apply to shares on allotment. Did not apply to shares through the prospectus. Next. But he later bought the shares in secondary market. Why secondary market? He later bought the shares in recognized stock exchange. Okay. Next. At a higher price and sold them at loss. This whole paragraph is nothing but facts rewritten from the top. You will not get marks for this para. Come down. Since he bought the shares in secondary market stock exchange, he can't claim for loss. Conclusion, he can't claim for loss. Conclusion is correct. I will give one out of five. How the analysis should be here? I should write simple three points. What I will write? My analysis should be in this lines. First, Mr. X bought shares in stock exchange. Second, Mr. X did not rely on misstatement in prospectus. Three, if Mr. X purchased the shares through the prospectus, relying on the misstatement in prospectus, he is liable to claim damages. Four, since he did not rely on the misstatement in prospectus, he cannot claim damages because he purchased in stock exchange. Loss cannot be claimed. That's it. Flow of events. That means in provision, you will write section 34, 35. Analysis, you will connect the facts with provision, give a conclusion. You tell me, guys, we have some students sitting here. Is that there over here? No, it's louder. Is it there, guys? No, it's not there. Okay. Next. Let's go to next answer. We have heading, he is writing two subsection 70 prospectus. By now I have understood 
from the first question itself this is a question about criminal liability in prospectus where somebody is not relying on prospectus and buying from market let's see seven more answers stay till the end guys in the last answer only is the good answer where i will give four out of five or three and a half out of five second answer heading two subsection 70 prospectus why what are you trying to communicate i know section number no we don't need to write all of this write relevant sections we can write heading section 34 criminal liability section 35 civil liability for so heading can be criminal and civil liability for misstatement in prospectus that is a good heading next facts mr x bought share from secondary market against stock exchange and claimed damages from company what are you conveying in this facts is not clear he bought in secondary market claiming damages little more brief or little, how can i write mr x bought shares in secondary market there is misstatement in prospectus he is claiming damages clear next as per section 2 subsection 70 prospectus means any document they are defining prospectus why if it's a seven mark question i will accept this what is prospectus 3 4 5 mark question no need to write what is a prospectus seven marks absolutely fine starting from what is prospectus next any person received shares by way of allotment by the company based on prospectus and if such prospectus has any false information and any person sustain loss due to such prospectus then every person who authorized such prospectus shall be liable to pay compensation in section 35 not bad good but what i will add here any person who authorized the prospectus if you read section 35 it says directors existing and proposed promoters expert or any other person so use those wordings in section 35 straight away went to analysis what is missing here 34 criminal liability is missing so only half marks from provision you can get this language is not bad but a little bit more provision language like misstatement in prospectus misleading statement omission those words are better those words are missing over here that is one next going down to analysis that's it answer is over conclusion x cannot claim damage from the company if i am the examiner i will read this first to save my time because if your conclusion is wrong i will not read the whole answer any time when conclusion is wrong did you get marks no so i will save my time first i will read conclusion conclusion is correct then only i will start reading the answer now provision 34 is missing analysis x bought shares from secondary market okay stock exchange even though he received prospectus from the company did not apply for allotment what analysis is this where am i saying that there is a misstatement in prospectus i never relied on the misstatement in prospectus i purchased in stock exchange because i didn't rely on the misstatement i cannot claim damages what i told in the last 15 seconds is that there when you read this guys so can i give marks for analysis zero for analysis conclusion gets marks only if the steps are correct provision only half is there so out of five maybe one and half so that one and half getting it where to improve guys let's go to the next student answer we can slowly start improving speed fact as per section 34 and 35 criminal liability and civil liability of company this is not fact this is heading so i can't write fact here if i don't write this then beautiful heading i am discussing 34 and 35 misstatement okay next provision as per section 35 civil liability loss or damages to subscriber of securities of as a consequence of acting on basis of inclusion or omission of any matter in the prospectus which is misleading i think the language can be better can be more simple if a person subscribes to misstate to a prospectus based on misstatement in prospectus and suffers loss every person authorizing such prospectus is liable the language is more in a third person reverse language first he is writing liable for loss of in which case why keep it simple keep it in the flow in which section is there next as per section 34 criminal liability any statement which is untrue or misleading in form or context in which it is occurred if subscriber is not subscribed through prospectus then above section will not apply okay 34 also 
criminal liability any statement which is untrue or misleading form or context which is included okay finish pannu me what is the finish if i am subscribing based on this then the directors and promoters etc are liable under section 447 they are criminally liable where am i saying that i know you know that since i'm saying the same thing again and again but that point is missing you have not finished the provision over here next okay you are giving an introduction if you are not subscribing based on that then this provision is not applicable fine not bad analysis mr x subscribed the shares through stock exchange and suffered heavy loss the next claim the prospect is contains any false information which is which is which was what is this which was issued by the company this full paragraph is facts since you are not writing facts on top the student didn't write facts on top writing facts here absolutely fine we have to write somewhere in the answer on top or here we have to write but you will not get marks but i am understanding what the question is so then he is continuing x cannot claim 34 and 35 because he purchased through stock exchange and does not depend upon prospectus good but i would just add one more line does not depend upon the misstatement in prospectus so i didn't rely on the misstatement in prospectus i relied on stock exchange good conclusion cannot claim so analysis not bad almost good provision definitely needs improvement 34 and 35 should be way better so out of 5 i can give 2 and the heading also was good if the provision gets better it will automatically become 4 and little bit more detailing in analysis next next one then we'll go to the next one we'll review that later again come back over this x received a copy of prospectus which contained false information okay full facts how long do you think it will take to write this just the facts what is written over here by the student how long 2 minutes 1 minute if i say 2 minutes to think and frame into 20 questions like this in exam you have 40 minutes of zero marks so you can't write facts so much don't write the facts write the heading like how the previous student wrote misstatement in prospectus on section 34 35 start with provision if you don't know to write facts in two lines don't write next according to section 34 of company act if the prospectus includes any statement which is misleading every person authorized such issue shall be liable to 447 excellent neatly written correct where any person subscribes any shares based on the statement which is misleading and such person suffers loss due to this misstatement then civil liability is applicable under 35 very good next also section 34 and 35 will not be attracted if the person bought the securities from the secondary market and not from the misleading statement issued by the company this point is correct but not in provision this will come in analysis what is the analysis as per the above stated provision then x has bought securities from secondary market stock exchange and not from the statement misleading issued by the company loss suffered by mr x will not be borne by any person mentioned in the above provision conclusion cannot be that big one line mr x claim for damages will not be justified let's it conclusion over this and all he cannot claim damages from the company repeat same thing is repeating but good answer in all the answers we have seen so far definitely good out of 5 i will give 3 only one thing on the face of it i can see is missing is in section 35 they could have mentioned who will be liable directors promoters expert if they authorized otherwise beautiful flow of language those who are watching if you need answers these pdfs i will put in the link drive below you can see these answers the corrected ones next we just have three more to go i will come back to this let me go to two good ones okay good flow okay these are good answers because we have seen what you should not do how to do it but how to actually do it as per section 2 subsection 70 company said prospectus is define if it's a seven mark question okay 3 4 5 not required next as per section 35 of company act where a person subscribe to securities based on statement or omission which is misleading and the person is entitled for compensation then civil liability will be attracted i already corrected what is missing 
who will compensate directors expert we already saw this and 35 will apply only when the person subscribes through prospectus and not through stock exchange analysis it will come beautiful analysis in this answer mr x received copy of prospectus which has false information but did not apply for allotment that's how the question started he bought shares in stock exchange incurred loss and claims damage from the company on the ground that prospectus had misstatement facts rewritten in analytical way very good mr x did not purchase to prospectus but purchase through stock exchange and therefore cannot claim loss we can just add the word loss or damages conclusion he cannot claim damages because he purchased through secondary market is it simple neat you are able to understand provision alone 34 is there here guys yeah just one more thing to add section 34 we have to add but the flow is good in this answer how easy to read it is for me when you read are you getting that feeling shrikan do you read no okay next one more answer this one is again good answer by a student only mistake was the facts was so huge facts were so huge definitely he or she will take 2 minutes for this 40 minutes will waste in writing and they may struggle with time in exam so skip this facts write the heading where to write the facts include in analysis how previous answer you saw beautifully it came now look at this again the same student wrote definition of prospectus not relevant for a four mark question next further it is provided that a prospectus must not contain any untrue or misleading statement it must disclose all material facts honestly and accurately which is likely to influence the decision regarding investment an investor you can write the word shareholder instead of investor who purchases shares and suffered loss due to misstatement in prospectus shall sue for damages however no claim shall be made if investor has not relied on the prospectus provision is beautifully written what is missing is section number 34 35 is missing but section number like we know guys is not mandatory if you remember right otherwise no problem next analysis very well written analysis so easy to read when i see five points instead of one big paragraph x in the given case received copy of prospectus containing misstatement did not subscribe super next he bought shares suffered loss correct next considering the above provision it is clearly evident that mr extra x has not relied on the prospectus so his loss is not because of misstatement in prospectus so he has no remedy conclusion isn't this analysis so neat guys easy to read language is good compared to the previous answers so if anybody is watching this video not trying to offend you we are all going to improve then one last answer we had now you will try to help me analyzing this you guys will tell me those who are watching youtube start prompting in the house first provision definition of this is needed not needed section 35 says that where any person subscribed to securities based on statement or omission which is misleading such person will suffer loss civil liability is this correct what is missing who will compensate loss expert director all of that analysis what is missing again in provision 34, 34 is missing that means you are getting the you know how to write this answer analysis in the given case big paragraph is this easy to read or previous pointers pointers every answer need not be pointers based on the question you change in the given case x received copy of prospectus some false information but did not apply suffered loss good excellently written language is good proper facts written prospectus is only for initial subscribers in the primary market since x purchased these shares in secondary market instead you can write stock exchange the prospectus does not hold good no the sentence doesn't hold good therefore x cannot claim damages all good but what is missing is the person did not rely on the misstatement in prospectus so he can't claim that is missing in the analysis and then conclusion maybe i'll give 2 out of 5 or even 1 and 1/2 out of 5 are you following guys now this is we saw for one question in prospectus if you guys those who are watching if you want more questions then put in the comments and then we will go, we will do more videos where we'll discuss at least four five answers of same four five different answers for same question from different students and we will work on improving thank you for staying till the end guys see you all in the next video